We're now going to talk about level order parsing. Level order parsing, uh, we should print them F, then B, G, then A, D, I, and then C, E, H. So one level at a time, we should print them. This one's a little bit more complicated, and we need to use an auxiliary data structure. Now, it is possible, by the way, to do this without an auxiliary data structure using recursion, but the recursion, the, the recursive algorithm is more complicated. If we use a Q, it just makes it much, much easier. So let me show you the algorithm. I'll give you a moment to read through it, and then we'll discuss it. So look at this algorithm. And I'm going to draw a little Q down here. And we're going to say that this will be the front of the Q, and that this will be the back of the Q. Okay. And uh, we'll say further that this will be the tree that we are processing right here. Okay, this will be the tree that we're processing. You have a copy of this, and it might be helpful for you to look at the paper copy as I walk through the algorithm. So let's look at the algorithm right here. And the first thing it says to do is to create this queue. I created the queue and put the root node in the binary tree in the queue. So here I'm going to add the F node to the Q here. Here's the F node. I've added the F node to the Q. And now we're going to start our loop. We're going to start our loop. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove whatever's in front of the Q. Well, right now F is in front of the Q. So we're going to just, even though we've just added it, we're going to remove it right away. And we're going to print it. So let me put the uh, print sequence right underneath here. So I'll call this the output. And so far, we're going to print the F. But we're not done with F yet. We're not done with F yet. We're going to see if F has a left child. Now, does F have a left child? It does. That's B. So we're going to put B in the Q now. So we're going to put B in the Q. And now we're going to ask, does F have a, uh, we're going to ask, does uh, F have a right child? And it does. That's G. So we're going to put G in the Q. And now we're going to ask, is the queue empty? It is not. So we're going to keep we're going to keep continuing with our loop, and we're going to remove the B. We're going to print it, and we're going to ask, does B have a left child? And it does. A. So we're going to add A to the queue, and we're going to ask, does B have a right child? And it does. It's D. And we're going to add D to the queue. We're going to get to the top of our queue again, our while loop. We're going to ask, is the queue empty? And the answer is no. And so we're going to remove the item in the front of the queue, which is G. Remember, the queue is like a bank line. This is the next customer to be served. When I add new customers, I add them from the back of the queue. So here now, I remove the G. I print it. And then I go through the same process. And I ask, is there a left child? No. Is there a right child? There is. Right here, I. So now I'm going to add I to the queue. And as you go through this, you can see already here, FBG has been printed. You can see here that the level order printing is commencing. So that is the basic algorithm for the queue. And now in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how to code this. So let's go back to the code. All right, let's continue. We're going to code this algorithm now. So I'm over here now, and you can see that I'm going to turn on my level order code here. Level order code I'm going to turn on. So I'm going to come over here, and it's not worthwhile for me to copy these because my level order parsing is completely different. So I'm going to say public static void level order and it's not going to be recursive it's going to be uh, using a loop so my tree node uh, i'm just going to call it root this time because it will be the root always that's called and i misspelled static okay and so what we're going to do is we need to create a queue now just as a reminder from csa and all early part of data structures you remember when we created a list or, or, or an array list in Java, we used to go like this. We used to go list integer, oops, list equals new array list. 
You remember we did that, right? Now, what is list and what is array list in Java? Who can tell me what's a list? Yes, Mr. F, sorry. That's an interface, and here is the actual concrete class. And we did this to make sure that going forward, list would always, our, our, our little list variable would only call list methods. We're going to do a similar thing here. I'm going to just put a comment on this because we don't really need this, but this will act as sort of our, our uh, example. So here, we want to create a queue, and a queue is an interface in Java. So we're going to go queue, and what is the queue going to hold in this case? I'll give you a hint. It's not characters. It's going to hold tree node. So we're going to put a queue of a tree node, and historically, Lazy programmers just call their queues Q like that. And so on this side, now you talk to your partner and try and figure out what goes on the right hand side. New link list. Very good, sir. Like that. So we have the interface on one side and the uh, concrete class on the other. And we're doing this for the same reason. We only want to be able to limit the Q variable to calling Q commands. Let's go look at the Q interface in Java briefly. And now let's go over here and type in Q Java Oracle. The methods here on the poll on the uh, on the on the Q, you can see that the ones we want are just add and remove. There's this other method called poll, which is similar to remove. We'll talk about that later when we talk about priority queues, but for now we're just going to talk about add and remove based on this algorithm that I have already shared with you and based on these hints that I have given you on how to set up the link list, you have enough information now to write the rest of the level order code. And I'm going to give you 10 minutes to write the level order code for me now and test it out and make sure it works. Please do that now. The way you get better at driving is by driving. The way you get better at programming is by programming. If you're looking over your friend's shoulder and waiting for them to write this level order technique, you're essentially at the gym watching your friend lift the weights. You're not getting any stronger. I'd like to give you more time, but for some reason I'm pressed for time today. So I'm going to ask Mr. Alejandro to share with us his solution. Okay, go ahead, sir. And that, believe it or not, is the entire method. So once we've uncommented the level order uh, call here, we can compile and run it. And if we look at the tree here, you can see it works beautifully.